Chairman, uh, since uh, Inspector Christmas Board, Christmas Board, sorry, uh, the judge of our uh, diversity relations unit. So, uh, uh, without any further introduction, Chris, welcome. Thank you. Uh, it's item number 37. Uh, would you like to make some comments on, on the report, sir? Yes, Mr. Chairman. Uh, good morning. Good morning. I would just like to take a few minutes to present the details contained within the 2009 HIIT Bias Motivated Crime Report. The HIIT Bias Motivated Crimes are monitored and reviewed by the uh, Diversity Relations Unit. From those occurrences, the unit has prepared this report for you. In 2009, there were 95 hate bias motivated crimes reported and investigated by Peel Regional Police. This is a significant increase from the 2008 numbers when there were 37 reported incidents. When the Diversity Relations Unit reviewed the occurrences and analyzed the evidence, it is worth noting that in more than half of the occurrences, the victim had no idea why they were the target of the specific hate uh, motivated crime. Their ethnicity, religion, race, or sexual persuasion did not coincide with the hate motivated crime. During 2009, five investigations resulted in arrests and the occurrence being solved. The report contains diagrams and graphs to assist in evaluating the information. Uh, the first diagram, located on page two of the report, identifies the fact that most of the occurrences, 66 to be exact, are mischiefs or damage to property occurrences such as graffiti. This has been consistent over the past four years. The hate motivated crimes are not isolated to specific areas within the region, but rather fairly evenly distributed throughout uh, all the divisions. The Diversity Relations Unit have tracked hate motivated crimes since 2006. The occurrences have fluctuated during those uh, four years with 71 occurrences in 2006, 47 in 2007, 37 in 2008, and then for last year we had 95. Explanations and reasons for the increase have been uh, researched and the occurrences will continue to be closely scrutinized to ensure that the, uh, they are investigated in great detail. But we believe that some of the increase can be attributed to the proactive efforts of the police service within our diverse community that we serve. The Diversity Relations Unit educates every frontline officer on recognizing and investigating hate motivated crime. They also educate ethnic community agencies and groups on the importance of reporting such crimes. As we hire officers that reflect the community, we believe that it enhances our ability to detect hate motivated crime better. The Diversity Relations Unit is building strong relationships and trust within our communities through events such as the Race Against Racism, the Diversity Basketball Tournament, and our participation in the Pride Parade each year. We have also introduced uh, a lesbian gay hotline to encourage our gay community to report crime directed at them. Just this year we've enhanced that service by adding an email address that the gay community can use to report incidents or seek help from the Diversity Relations Unit or the Police Service. The Diversity Relations Unit also participates in community programs speaking to newcomers that come to Canada. They distribute material in a variety of different languages, and again, ensuring their new residents understand they can trust policing in Canada. And that summarizes the contents of the 